And uh, a lot of the flag tutorials that we've noticed online are they uh, they show the right position, but they don't really go into detail, and they don't really show the exercises building into it. So that's what uh, I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you the correct form, how to do a flag, and then the key points to it, and then how to build into it, like the best way to develop it. So, all right, first I'm just going to give you a demonstration of what the flag will look like. Okay, so I'll, uh, yeah, that's that's what it'll, the finished product will look like, and some people can even do push-up and stuff, but let's just start with the basic flag. All right, first key point is the hand placement. The hand placement is very important. If you have the wrong hand placement, it's going to make it a lot harder on you, and you probably won't be able to do it. All right, whichever hand you want to have on top or bottom, it doesn't matter. I'm more comfortable with my right on top and left on bottom, but you want to switch out on both anyway because you want to develop the strength on both. But just start with one to begin with. Uh, I like to have my left on bottom and right on top. So the bottom hand will be face, your fingers will be facing down, and your thumb will wrap around like so. And this arm is going to stay locked the whole time. This is your support beam right here. This is what's supporting your body. Your other arm that's on top, it's gonna, your thumb is gonna be facing down. It's gonna be pulling you into it. This is what's gonna be holding you up. This is gonna be your support. And so you don't wanna hold like this because when you're doing the flag, you want your shoulders to be totally locked out and in a good position to pull the bar. If it's like this, it's, you're not gonna be able to get as much strength in the pull, and also your shoulders aren't gonna be able to lock out, and your, your alignment's gonna be all wrong. If you notice any professional, circus person, or anything like that, they have their hand facing like this, because you can really lock out your shoulders, and that way, you're not really having to work as much on this side. It's really just your core pulling you up. So that's the first key point. Uh, the second key point is with your back. You're gonna push your back out. You don't want to have your back like this. You're going to have it pushed out and your stomach almost, when you first start out, you kind of want to have your stomach facing out because it makes it easier. You have more support. This is your support right here. It's holding you up. So when you're first starting out, just focus on keeping this arm locked, this one pulling, your shoulders out, and just work on holding yourself like so. Not, don't worry about pulling into it at first. And just do sets of these when you're first starting out just sets of holding yourself up. The next thing you want to do, so you'll do, just do three sets of those for as long as you can every other day until you can, if you can do better than that, then work on pulling it up to where your knees are just, your knees are bent in like so. It's a little bit harder, but that's where you want to build up to. And the next part is you'll do the same thing with your arms and you'll pull your legs up, which is a little bit harder. And then so once you get that, you'll work on lowering them down, almost like a negative form. So you'll go here, slowly lower down. Kick up, slowly lower down. And then once you have that, just uh, work on just kicking into the flag and holding. So you just kick. And then the more advanced stage of that is instead of kicking, you'll just use your upper body to pull your core up. So you'll start here, lift like this, and pull up. So that's the basic flag. Hopefully those tips, those tips should help you out. And uh, if you have any more questions about it or about anything else, just hit us up on our website.